Today I am restoring this artist's box I found at a garage sale. Hey guys, how's it going? So, like I said, I found this old artist's box at a garage sale. Other than it being a bit beat up and very well used, I thought this was a pretty cool find. That, and with a bit of work into it, it could be a decent birthday gift for my artist brother-in-law, who actually has his own channel that you can check out up here if you're interested. To start this project off, I went through and took off all of the hardware, making sure to keep track of it all so I could reassemble the box afterward. Then I broke out the card scrapers and started to take off some of the old finish. And then it was time for dinner or something, so I put it aside and forgot about it for a couple months. Before long, it was a week to my brother-in-law's birthday, and I finally remembered that I had this project. I was out of town that weekend working on another project, so my wife offered to give me a hand. Before I left, I set her up with my mouse sander with 120 grit, since I was using my random orbit sander. And then when I got back, she was happy to tell me that the sanding was done, but the sandpaper I put on it wasn't working, so she switched over to 220 grit because it was scratchier. She also took the old hardware and gave it all a vinegar bath to clean it up a bit. Then when I returned, I neutralized them in baking soda water and made sure that they were all dried off. With the wood parts all sanded and the hardware all cleaned up, I moved on to the first customization of this artist box restoration and broke out my new wood burning kit. To make sure I knew what I was doing, since I hadn't done this before, I tested it out on a stain sample that I had. Happy with that, I moved on to the box. Earlier in the day, my wife had picked out a font that she wanted to use on the box, so I printed off a couple different sizes, and using some carbon paper, I traced out the big one on the top of the box and the small one on the front. At this point, I wasn't sure if I wanted to completely fill the lettering in or not, so I started on the top with outlining the lettering and waited to fill in the lettering until I did the front. And I'm happy that I went about it that way. I think having the big lettering completely filled in would have been way too much. With the burning done, I set the workbench into spray mode and started spraying on lacquer, as I was starting to run out of time at this point and I wanted something with a quick drying time. I think I ended up doing three coats with a light sanding in between coats. The next customization I wanted to do was replace the old dry and cracked leather handle. And again, having never worked with leather before, I went out and picked up some new leather working tools. Basically just punches and riveters, but yeah. I cut the same size strip leather out of this, I think it's actually a belt kit, I don't know, leather's leather, making sure to factor in the additional length needed for the rivets. Then with my dividers, I marked out center and marked out the hole to be punched out for the rivets and then punched out the holes. Then I set the rivet in the rivet anvil, lined everything up and whacked it down with a mallet. Not too bad if I say so myself. And with that, it's time for reassembly. My plan was to use all of the old hardware, but this box had clearly been repaired in the past, and half of the screws didn't quite match. So I ended up replacing some of the ones that were way out there with some brass screws I already had on hand, and I think it ended up working out better. You might also notice that I didn't clean out the inside of the box. That was intentional. I wanted to have the outside of the box looking clean to show off more of the wood and the joinery, but I wanted to have the interior of the box still have the character that it already had. And with that, this artist box restoration was done. At this point in time, this birthday gift was completed and received months ago, and he seems pretty happy with it. He texted me a month or so ago, works better than the cardboard box I was previously using. Works for me. Glad you're enjoying it. Smart ass. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. So thank you all for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you want to go see more up-to-date projects, you can follow me on Instagram at JohnTheShriner. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video, and have a good one.